Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing Daz Studio 3D Bridge for Photoshop. This application allows the user to quickly and easily import content into Photoshop that's been created and rendered in Daz Studio 3D. This is an incredible tool that has become one of my favorites in a very short time. It's allowed me to work on a lot of web content and matte paintings in a very fast and efficient manner and it will save you a lot of steps in your usual workflow process and I'm positive you'll be happy with the results. Before we begin you're going to need a couple of tools. The first one is Daz Studio 3D and you can download this for free on their website at daz3d.com. I'll click on the 3D software button right here and download it for free. The next tool we're going to need is the 3D Bridge to Photoshop. And if you don't yet have this application, it's available on the web for a 30-day free trial. Also make sure that when you're downloading this that you are getting the free content pack. It has quite a few um, detailed, high-quality models. And these models will be suitable for using in uh, DAS 3D and also Photoshop. The final thing you're going to need before we can begin is to go to the community forum and download the latest version for the 3D bridge to work and I opted for the 2.2.2.17 beta version um, because some people were experiencing problems with the release 15 version. It may crash or display some other problems for you and I didn't have any problems with the 17 version. I tested it on Vista 64, XP, and Mac OS 10, and it worked really well with all of those operating systems. Again, you can get this um, link on the DAS forum, and I'll also provide links to all these resources on our website. And once you've downloaded and installed those applications onto your computer, go ahead and launch Photoshop and go to File and Automate and you'll have a new option for DAS Studio 3D Bridge. If you do not already have that launched, click here and it will open the new application. Might just take a second to launch. Once it's open, you'll have two different menus. This one will stay with you in your Photoshop and it will be your Bridge Navigator. So let's just move this out of the way. And then here is your Daz Studio. So let's make this bigger. Here's a helpful hint. Um, sometimes it's hard to find your content that you've just installed. If you're having problems finding it, go to this little button here and change it to View Folders as a Tree. And that's a little bit easier to find. At this point, you can go up to Content, and you'll find the free content pack located in here. So you have different models, environments, and a lot of different stuff. Let's go ahead and load the model of the elephant. And we'll just zoom out with this button. Arrange it down and just turn it around a bit. So here's our model of the elephant, and you can position it however you like, and then we are going to import it to Photoshop. And we, all we have to do is click Preview Image on the DAS Studio 3D Bridge menu. And now it's going to ask us what size, and we're just going to leave it as the default setting. And that's the imported image. There's a couple things I want you to notice. Let's move this out of the way. Notice that we imported this as a layer. If you don't import it as a layer, it will be placed on the background. And Photoshop also will lock this layer, and you cannot unlock it. The reason is that it synchronizes with DAS Studio, so then it will update. So this means that when you go to DAS Studio and you modify it or position your camera or model, then you click up Update Image and it'll update in Photoshop. 
Also notice the Enable Auto Update. If you click on this, Photoshop is going to just constantly um, refresh whatever you're doing in DAS. It is CPU intensive, so um, if you have a slower computer, it can look like it's blinking and be a little irritating. On the other hand, it's a very useful tool when you want to have more of a real-time update on what you're doing. Uh, then you don't have to click Update Image so often. So there's a few more things here I want to show you. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Okay. Um, on the layers, well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's go back and look at the, the camera. If you go and for some reason you accidentally switch to a different camera, and then you modified your scene or your model in the camera, and then you go over here and click on Update Image, nothing's going to happen in Photoshop. And see, we'll notice, I'll modify it again and click update and it doesn't do anything. Most likely the problem is that you've changed from the 3D bridge camera to a different camera. It will only synchronize with a 3D bridge camera. Also notice that the view we're looking at in Photoshop is a preview and not the actual image. So you will need to click on render to a new layer and when you do this, DAS will render the image and place it in Photoshop as an additional layer. This will provide a higher quality for your project and also it will import lighting and other presets that DAS has. And this is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll go into more depth about the rest of the buttons on the navigator for the 3D bridge and some more hints and tips. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geek at Play Studio. Please come and visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com.